Today, I want to talk about BTS's verification being removed from the site, Twitter. I want to get into J-Hope believed to have gotten a preferential treatment and this being a concern that he will get hurt by a soldier at the camp. And then I want to get into J-Hope found at the doctors. So hey dumplings, this is Dave Desai. Hater or not, make sure you're subscribed with the notification bell on. Grab your dumplings, hey spilling mug merch, and let's go. First off, thank you for watching yesterday's video. I want to thank you all for the donations or super chats or whatever they're called. I wasn't expecting any. Simply watching the video all the way to the end will generate some funds as well. So you don't need to donate money, but your time is enough and the proceeds from the ads will go towards a mental health organization. I will likely donate once the video stops getting views so it can collect as much as it can and then I'll donate all at once. I've done donations before with my merch and I've posted receipts. So I hope you believe that I'll do it this time as well. So thank you so much. It's something we're all very passionate about. Now, the first thing I want to get into is BTS's verification being removed. If you are not aware of what has been going on on social media now, there is this trend that Elon Musk started after he took over Twitter. Twitter was allegedly not making any money and has been in debt or something. So when Elon Musk brought it over, he needed to come up with a good idea to try to make the company generate money. His idea had been quite controversial as his ideas included layoffs of half his staff and just things like that. He decided to implement a new feature that asks people to pay for a verification badge. This kind of takes away the point of the badge and I think a lot of people argued against this. The point of the verification blue check mark was so at a first glance you can look at an account and realize this is the official verified account. Many accounts like BTS have several fan accounts and things like that. So when there's a Jungkook fan account with the name Jungkook and now suddenly we see a blue check mark next to it, our first thought is going to be, oh, did Jungkook make an account? But then now that everyone can just pay for that, you don't need to have an official account because as long as you have eight bucks a month, you can be verified and Instagram is starting to do that too. This takes away the whole point of being verified. To get verified on Instagram before, you needed to have news coverage of yourself and you needed to submit a photo ID of yourself. So audiences can be confident that if an account has a blue check, they are literally who they say that they are. So once Twitter did this change, it was going to be a change that would have been implemented just to the new accounts. So if you were not verified, the only way to do it is to pay for it. And then if you are, then you just stay verified. Recently, Twitter announced that even the older legacy accounts with the badge before this rule, the badge will be removed. So these big accounts will have to pay for it. BTS's verification badge actually got removed and people were reacting and saying that this was very funny, that BTS was just now going to be like everyone else, except the 48 millions of followers they have. Others were saying that the account looked naked. Other people believed that BTS or HYBE would just opt for deleting Twitter and just not coming back. Most people found this to be quite funny and great because the blue check mark, especially now, is simply just a status thing. It doesn't represent an authentic account anymore because anyone can have it. But there were definitely people who were upset that BTS is not going to be seen as legitimate anymore. I know a lot of Asian culture is very obsessed with status, but having status with nothing to back it up is silly. I'd rather have 48 million followers than just have a blue check mark. BTS losing that check means nothing. Funny enough, it seems like HYBE did decide to pay for it and we see the blue check currently back, which means HYBE is spending a pretty penny on all these artists' accounts that have likely lost their verification. Because since once everyone can get verified, having a non-verified account actually seems more legit. Anyway, I thought this was funny. What has not been so funny is actually J-Hope's health. J-Hope is actually all right. I don't think he is in any real danger, but it was reported by news that J-Hope needs to be quarantined for a week right before he is allowed to be in the camp and enlist. So I think currently he is either at a hotel or maybe back home. I thought this was weird and I think the media was reporting it like this and making it seem like this was something that everyone had to do like as a COVID preventative thing and everyone needed to be away for a week. I think the media did this because they didn't know the whole story, but it allegedly turned 
turned out Jacob actually tested positive for COVID-19, which is why he had to quarantine. I did think it was weird because Jin never had to do that. So likely J-Hope tested at the military's doctor's office and it was positive and then he just had to go home. People were very worried, but J-Hope tested positive for COVID a little over a year ago and he was actually okay. Of course, there's situations where the second time is worse, but I don't think that is the case for most people and most people who are young and don't have any other issues will be okay. Personally, I've tested positive for COVID like three times, I think, no symptoms. And one time I was literally in a room with someone who tested positive for COVID for a few days. I just thought, well, I might as well stay, but I actually tested negative after a few days. This is just my experience, by the way, not everyone's and definitely not fact but I'm sure others have had a similar experience to me. And this is to show that there's definitely people who don't react heavily. And a lot of people with the vaccine like me are sometimes really okay. So please don't worry. And once the week is up, j -Hope will be back at the camp and be ready to start. j -Hope also was very close and around BTS members during the goodbye and all that. So there is concern if j -Hope gave it to any of the boys, but for the most part, everyone stayed masked when meeting j -Hope and they've all gotten COVID. And it was not really that bad for them. So they'll be okay, I believe it. There's been some conversation over J-Hope at the camp and definitely over BTS getting preferential treatment over the whole thing. The fact that BTS was even allowed to delay their service for this long had always been a controversial thing. So a lot of netizens were being a Hawkeye to make sure that they were being treated the same as everyone else. But I think it's silly to expect that BTS members might get the same service and the same hardship as everyone else in the military, or they might get the easy version. But either way, that's okay. They have served their country economically. They have served their country in so many different ways, and they're not as young as maybe the 18 year olds that enlisted. So they should be allowed some preferential treatment if they were to get it. Although I don't think they got any. j was believed by netizens to have gotten preferential treatments just from the little bit of time that he was at the camp and saying goodbye to the members. So what happened? So there was allegedly this rule that stated that when entering the military training center, you're only allowed one vehicle to get in. They say this is for security reasons, and I can understand that. If you plan on doing any sort of bad things, it would be quite tough to fit it all in one car. Also, the security team at the camp can do a much more thorough check if it's one car than if it's many, because usually security will have a lot of cars to check and they want to get them done fast. So there could be errors if there's 20 cars. This is at least my theory. Now, when J-Hope entered the training center, it was all live streamed by several media sites. And I believe the news even mentioned when J-Hope was coming in because maybe they could see him, I don't know. But it was believed that when J-Hope entered, there were six cars that followed him. So this is a lot more than the alleged allowed one car. And so many people were screaming preferential treatment. It actually got up to the point where the military officials had to come out and talk about the situation and if it was indeed a preferential situation. They came out to talk about how the one car rule was simply a guideline and there was no hard rule about this. The rule was for security, but if you needed extra cars, like in J-Hope's case, there would be a small team to record the event that we see as a Bang Tang Bang episode, and then of course cars to fit the other six members that were going to say bye to J-Hope. By the way, if you do want to react with me to the Bang Tang Bang episode where we say bye to J-Hope. I did react to that on Patreon. We have some subs for the video I react to, so it's a bit easier to understand what's going on. And we all cry and get emotional over this over there. If you're interested in checking that out, we still have a limited $1 tier that is open. Hope to see you there. Now, I do feel bad for some of the families that maybe thought this was a hard rule and wanted to bring extra relatives but could not. So maybe this is a lesson to note that you should always call in and ask. I don't know. Some armies, like usually, were upset over the idea that moments like this would make J-Hope a target at the camp, and this would be possible if he actually broke the rule, but he did not. So there really isn't anything to be upset about. Those who don't look into the rule themselves only have themselves to blame. I assume before BTS members do anything, they do have people who can help look over all the rules to make sure they don't break anything. Actually, it's probably the job of a lawyer, right? Let me know what you think. Make sure you check out my Patreon for more videos. Link down below. Thanks for this lovely comment right here. Love you. Bye.